in Chicago usually taking care of all of the necessities of the business and and then I come here and go back and share all the experiences I had each year and so this year I've uh, got the honor and experience of having her with and she's also going to keep me on track but allow me to share a little bit about what I do and what I am about and that is that I uh, do uh, attempt to explore every field of hypnosis that I can since my first introduction to hypnosis my first class in 1968 till now what I've attempted to do, do with hypnosis is nothing more than explore it. That's all. I've never really attempted to say, gee, I wonder how much money I could make this week, or I wonder how much they'll pay me to go and do that speaking engagement, or I wonder uh, what kind of money I could make if I sell a lot of tapes. Instead, what I attempted to do is just do what felt good and explore each area, and it worked. Uh, Dick Hart had just had a graduation class of Train to Trainers this weekend, and Thursday I was uh, honored to be able to attend some of the ceremonies and the talks thereafter. And, and one of the topics came up about the idea of how to be more successful with your practice. And there, there were a whole lot of ideas and a lot of uh, thoughts thrown around, but I have one thought and one idea that has stuck with me, and it also relates to the topic of applying suggestions, and that is each individual that you interact with with hypnosis, whether it be to hypnotize that individual, to speak with them about hypnosis during a counseling time, answering a phone, if you in your mind pretend like there is not another person in this world other than that person, I think that you'll be successful forever. That's the philosophy that I've attempted to uh, approach. Uh, never mind the idea that it might be a potential client. Never mind that you want to be successful in getting them to quit smoking or lose weight. Uh, just sit there and communicate with that individual as though that individual was your child or, or a special person to you or somebody who really had a strong meaning to your heart. How many of you are parents in this room? Okay, for all of you that didn't raise your hands and are not parents, the best explanation that I could give you as a parent is that being a parent is like being irrationally in love with somebody that you don't necessarily always agree with. And to be irrationally, yes, okay, to be irrationally in love with that person means nothing more than you would do anything for that person. You would, uh, you would communicate the most positive words you could, even though you might lose your temper and say something negative. Uh, to speak to a person's subconscious mind is like speaking to a child in my interpretation. Also allow me to stop and, and pause for a moment and qualify something as I begin. Uh, I heard uh, somebody very special speak today, maybe some of you did, and if you didn't, too bad, but Dan Kennedy, and I listened to him also last year, and he spoke about the idea of marketing your business, and he said he's not going to speak of theories or philosophies or ideas, he's going to be speaking about making money. Well, I'm not going to be speaking about making money, I'm going to be speaking about theories and philosophies, but unfortunately they're mine and they happen to not necessarily be your needs or your agreements, but you are sitting here and you've chosen to spend the next 15 minutes in listening to some of the thoughts that I might have, well then un unfortunately or maybe fortunately you'll see that some of the theories and philosophies might work for you. The first approach that I need to take is that when I communicate to somebody, I realize that hypnosis has already started the moment the communication has started. In our office, I'm very fortunate to have Lori Zielinski, as I had introduced you to earlier. Lori, would you stand up and let them know who you are? Because they probably have seen you already anyway. Okay, that's Lori. She's uh, been with me for nine years, almost nine years. Thank you. Uh, and she uh, manages my office, as well as uh, a lot of other things that we incorporate there. We have uh, nine hypnotherapists. Lori's a certified uh, hypnosis trainer, as well as she's a certified massage therapist. And, and uh, is going through a two-year program in the training of Hakomi therapy, which some of you might know and some of you might not.